Hello guys, I got another update for you. Um, this one's really, really cool because I did the wings. Well, I did one wing. And I, I did it that way on purpose because I wanted you to see how I did the screen. I sewed some steel screen on here. Well, I stapled this outer edge and then I just sewed uh, the rest on with this um, silver beading wire. I don't know if you see a piece right here, I forgot to cut. But, uh, and I also put like copper wire, but it just in case there's a little bit excess weight, uh, I wanted to put that there. And another reason is because when you bake a polymer clay sculpture or any kind of anything in polymer clay, when it comes out of the oven and it's piping hot, it is the most brittle, fragile state that it'll ever be in. It could easily break and crumble. Uh, only when it completely cools is it hard. So, being that part of the structural integrity is through the uh, clay on the wings of the arms, the arm wings, um, I didn't want it to sag and, you know, eventually break and crumble or whatever, or crack. So, just in case, you know, if I don't need it, I'll cut it off. But anyhow, I just wanted to show you uh, both stages of this. Here, you get, on this side, you have the screen that I did. And then I got this completely covered in clay. How awesome is that? Looks like it has bone in there and everything. I'm actually surprised how um, smooth this whole ordeal went as far as the wings. Because I've never done wings before. And they're not so scary, I guess. I'll probably snip the extra length off. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. But anyhow, let's get to the time lapse part so I can show you how I went about doing this. Okay, to start this off, first I cut me off a little bit of the um, arm to the wing, the clay, so I can get in there and do some work to it. And I got some steel screen, and I held it on there, and I traced the wire. And then while I had it up there, I also drew the the wing part where you know the where the bones connect. Then once I got it all drawn the way I wanted it, I uh, cut it out with some scissors and the extra area on the outer edge, I basically just snipped that with some scissors all the way, you know, in little sections and folded it over so I could staple it. I figured I'd get a good start on this hit by stapling it and it worked pretty good. And now I'm basically sewing this on with that silver beading wire. Uh, I, I'm not even sure if this is even needed. I see a lot of people they do when they do the wings, they just put the clay on there. They don't do any kind of screen or 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 something like that. And I guess it all depends on the size and the position and everything. But I don't know. I, I like I like the stability of it. So it's really not a big big deal. But it did turn out pretty good, and it wasn't too hard to do. But that's some crappy screen. I uh, I should have got the higher quality screen that doesn't come apart in little pieces when you cut it. So, and of course I put that copper wire to help support the weight of both of the wings. But even without it, I think it's pretty decent. And now I'm putting on my skin coating. This is uh, setting four on the pasta machine, which is basically half the full thickness. And I work in full sheets because it's easier to do that. And I got the underside on first. And when I worked it down on there, I realized that it was showing some of the metal and everything. Later on, off camera, I actually put another layer underneath the wing, which is uh, setting two, a little bit thinner. This top side worked pretty decent, so I don't think I'm going to put any more clay on it. I'm not sure. But I just work in full sheets and make sure I work all the air bubbles out of it, too. I actually press quite hard with my fingers to mash it into that screen. But anyhow, this is pretty much all there is to it on this part of the, 
the sculpture, you know, doing the wings. Uh, I'll, I'll continue doing the other wing and get it done. And then pretty much all we're looking at is some detail on the heads and getting the feet finished. And I can pretty much cook this. Very excited about that. And uh, it won't be long and we'll have this thing finished. It was a good little adventure doing this with you. And I really appreciate you for checking this out. And I'll see you here again soon. Thank you for watching.